Okay, we're going to be playing Super C, Super Chondra. Yay! A game I'm very nostalgic for. 1990 Konami. No demo. Let's just start this up before another demo shows up. And you start the game with three rests. Three rests. So what I'm going to do is... I'm going to sit. I'm going to give myself max lives. So I'll have to be right back at the real quick jump at it. Be right back. Okay. Now I'm back to the game. My life should be max. The floor blue. 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 Things that look like badges should be max lives. Should be max lives. Or it's a game called Max Re Max Rest. Yeah, that's the whole time pulling this play to. So play to the game at maximum lives. See can I get to it. Not to show off my polo gaming programming skills, because I'm gonna admit I'm doing this for casual fun. I'm not doing this to show off just how good I am. Ooh, I just got a screen power power up. Ooh. Ah, uh, Conjure's an 8-bit port of an arcade game. I'm not sure which version came first anyway. But you shoot all these little people, you try and shoot you, growing little sprites. Uh, it says, it says Contra Prime. And I grabbed the, and I grabbed the fireball. Yeah, you can kind of hear my controller, but it's probably mostly covered up by gameplay. I should get by the power of someone throwing in this grenade from that building. Bombs, I don't know what type of bombs, but they blow up and they go boom. Uh, the, the machine gun. And now for everyone's favorite S power up, the spreader. Yay! It's pretty simulatory. It's the S. It's the S power up. It's the S power. Up. It spreads out and spreads out in multiple directions, kind of like what it does on the screen. Okay, it spreads out in the five directions anyway. It's overpowered. Beginner weapon. Beginner weapon. You'll heavily depend off anyway. It makes a special sound. Available in the arcade version. Of the game. I did not realize he was going to jump. There, you get destroyed. You get destroyed anyway. There you go. Now you gotta face the chopper. There's a predator reference. Arnold Schwarzenegger get you the chopper. Why those green guys come in and try to distract you? And guess what? It shoots and fire back at you. Oh, super conjure. Stages aren't time, but now you need to shoot the glowing core that's growing, you know, red, orange, and green. Why aliens are why these little aliens are trying to attack you? Hopping out the back of the chopper anyway. Big to track murder player. You can. The game doesn't care. Shoot to him. Shoot it. Hit it enough. Hit it. You crazy. Or you can just angle diagonal up like that. And it's defeated. It. Whee! It's me, my spreader. It's me, my spreader. I'm gonna spread. I'm gonna spread out for attention anyway. Area 2. Uh, area 2, everything's completely changed. And instead of like the first area, instead of like the first area, instead of like the first area, you gotta get the over the head perspective of shooting down, you can move in all eight directions. Yeah. 8, 12, or whatever you wanna, whatever you wanna call it the out, off, uh, I say eight directions. Eight ray controls. Something else I didn't demonstrate. Uh, I'm just using a turbo for that. It allows you to turbo fire faster, but if I hit that little button, you see that little icon. I can lift fire a little faster with the turbo. I can fire a little I can fire a little faster anyway, but I can this. Maybe it's not anyway. Being aware of fire real fast and really only a clase of super really only clase of super things anyway. We I'll probably get rid of this turbo anyway, right? It's turning it off anyway. There, back to normal fire. But I'm pretty sure you were loving the sound of the turbo anyway. Oh look, I think I think I just grab more sprays. I got more grab more spreads anyway. Yep, improvements you don't pick up the power, they will disappear. It does have a two-player mode, but I heard it makes the game harder. That's why I see on this recording this game. I can find somebody who wants to record with me. I didn't ask. Yes. Who knows how many times I get killed? Dang, the spray is overpowered. Look at me on this. Look at me. 
I'm just wiping out everything with a spreader. So I get shot. It feels like the way the game likes to spawn them in from behind you. Boom. Everybody, we. I mean, a triple cannon that only fires in three directions with a gunner at the top. With a blue gunner at the top. Yeah. Oh no, it's so deadly. It's so pattern based. It's so. It's so, uh, so power right? The AI in this game is crazy. What you're viewing is an NES game with sprites, sprite limitations, with sprite limitations, ran off a cartridge. And no, we're not playing this off a PC emulator. It's an 8 bit NES game, so why it doesn't have any stereo? But then again, but then again, but again, again, Super Contra or Super C, whatever you want to call it, doesn't need stereo. When I first played this game, I played at my cousin's house when I was a little kid, anyway. I played play at his house when I was a little kid, anyway. But I got the spreader. What power up more important? Oh, uh, the laser. I, well, at least I'll demonstrate it once instead of like be biased with the spreader. I didn't need a grab. I could have just stuck with the spreader. The spreader does make things easier. Yeah, but you're going to have one shot on screen. I try firing again, it just automatically erases. I tap the button, see? I get that. It's overpowered, but it's also slow. Yeah, it can defeat me fast anyway, but it's a button we have to. It's not. It's, it's more precision, more precision based. The screen clear eagle weapon. You can wipe out stuff with the spreader anyway. See, like that. It's not the worst gun in the world. It's just not. Most people. It's a gun you're more like you play for five seconds and realize what? Rapid fire doesn't work? You should like to spawn the orange guys. The orange guys like to well, spawn, walk on the screen, take a shot, take a shot at you. We'll take a shot. Here, let me just quit. Let me just, let me just, let me just clear out them. So they don't keep killing me off over and over again. See? Walk a few steps, take a shot anyway. Ah, yes. And cannons, and cannons that... That cannot seem to... That cannon that cannot seem to... That cannon can only seem to fire one direction. They have a blind spot. I like can just demonstrate it. Okay, last few, the last few barrel of the resistance. Captain, we can't let him get through. I believe he plays Bill. And Alex working for the Falcom organization, but I don't know. It's a Japanese product. There are drama CDs. They never get drama CDs never get dubbed. I can see why. I would say never get dubbed. Well, occasionally, once in a while, there's just more story, more IL, just drama CD only. It's Japan's new market to make money. I believe drama CDs aren't new. They probably go back to drama cassettes before they were digital. Before they were digital. This is my favorite boss. My favorite second level boss. Where they roll around with you in a giant three way machine where it only has three turns and an electrical pinch that, that tends to retract and go back and out. And go, and go back and out forward. Yep. I like how player one has to respond right there. It's never where you died. Well, of course I'm not gonna get killed. Well, of course I'm gonna get killed anyway. A lot. No delay. No minutes. No, no delay. Just get better time anyway. I can't turn around. I'm lucky the electrical fence will probably, will probably retract. Sh give me the shock of my life. There I got where I want to. I believe the green guy. I believe the green guy at the top is the. You should, you should shoot him enough times. You hit him up because he's got a set level of hit points. How many shots he can take before he dies with each weapon? You'll uh, make the boss. You'll make the boss go boom like that. See, the boss go kaboom and I explode. Then you move on to the next stage, which is Area Three. You know what I call Area Three? The jungle. Welcome to the jungle. Not like that classic rock song. It's just a jungle. See this bleak jungle background? It's one of the few stages where they actually do have background, because most of the stages on Super C there is. On Super C there's very little in the way up background. The trees. Uh oh, the trees. Boom. I'm re-recording this. I'm re I'm re-recording this because when I did this first recording, I recorded it. I record the game while on suits separate different channels. I didn't like how it sounded. I didn't like how it sounded natural. So, 
I'm just recording this off a console. I'm just recording off a console anyway. That's emulating the game, obviously. Not original and not original 8-bit NES hardware. And I somehow managed to hack my life and get 99 resets. I believe 99 resets to both lives you can have in the game anyway. And the game's being stingy about being stingy about something. You just like the way enemies will just jump out for the trees and this. Make sure you're on your toes. Oh, it's a spreader. Uh, I got the laser. I got the dread living laser. Oh, yep. It just kind of just floats above you. Be careful. Be careful. You can avoid it if you really want to, but... Yeah, I got that sound effect getting praised. I got it. It's your life. Hmm. Hmm. Well, the enemies don't care. They don't care you're recording it. Hey, look, I'm safe. As long as I stay on the water and hold your breath, nothing can hit you. Not even those guys, but I can shoot them anyway. Whee. Who says the laser sucks? It's who says the laser sucks? When you, know, when you know how to use it, you only have one sprite on the screen, and just a tap at this or... If I button this reset it, yeah, it can be the most gut I would not gut wrenching gut wrenching laser that's most powerful, but but I would I'm pretty sure there's a challenge video on YouTube where somebody challenging themselves the whole beat the whole game of Super C using nothing but just the laser power up. We have a few special rules anyway. If you can play Super C, you really good at video games, are you this? Really, just want to challenge anyway. You want to challenge yourself, like not get hit or you can start the stage. It's an arcade style game. And now for the Star Wars Mecha Balls. Yeah, it walks around four feet. I really should demonstrate something to you. I might lose a laser trying to demonstrate it. See, if I. See, wow, wow, wow. it's like no, it just shoots you on the ground with that six shot pattern anyway. Oh no. See, you should get on the ground, you duck, and you're perfectly safe. Well, you would be perfectly safe if you didn't shoot, if you didn't shoot, there, if you didn't shoot like the six way shot pattern on the ground, and you can still almost hit the platform. It just totally reminds me of a Star Wars Walker Balls anyway, but this miniaturized. No, this thing is not inspired by Star Wars. Or you can just call it, or sometimes you just call it the Spire Balls when I was a little kid. You want to try to get all the way to the right. All the way to the right part of the screen. You want to know why? Because it gives you this huge advantage. Ah, yes, everyone's favorite power-up. The invincibility power-up. Where it is, you can just plow headlong the enemies like that without any shooting them. If you do, you kind of want to shoot those power-ups. I'm glad I'm going to grab the fireball. Nobody's going to make me feel guilty about turning around and grabbing it. Just so I can't hug the edge of the screen. It's our jungle. With the background missing. Now you have to fight. Now you have to fight everyone's favorite balls. Uh, the four-way cubic puzzle. Yeah, I suck. I'm not the greatest gamer. My contra gaming skill is alright anyway. No, what you really want to hit is the thing in the middle. You want to shoot the center glowing red eye in the middle anyway. You can focus on you can focus on shooting what's on the outside, but why am I not using turbo wire to just only demonstrate it during stage two anyway? Because I don't feel like I feel like tapping the button. I feel like tapping the button. Where it gets picked up or not anyway, natural recording doesn't matter to me. <laughs> Well, everything about this game is nostalgic. It's the second installment of the Contra series. It's Super C, came out in 1990, along with another game, Nintendo World Cup, anyway, which is not made by Nintendo. Took me a long time to realize that. It's a third party game. Made by Konami. Who knows? Who knows who had the idea for, for this game? I think I got one up. I think I got one up, anyway. I think I got one up. It was a game made and designed by another company, by by another by another game developer, Konami had a deal for an action shooter platforming game, so 
You get Super C. You get Super C. Uh, but at least for the jump and shoot, if you have the spreader, it makes it much easier just to, you know, fire off the spreader, but you still want to kind of want to jump and shoot, lose your shots. And just not to solely depend on the spreader. Hey, look, it's my machine gun of righteousness. It's my machine gun of righteousness. Here you go. There you go. Yeah, I like the sound the machine gun makes. That high pitch whistle noise. It's a sound you wouldn't hear very much. The squeaky, that squeaky high pitch noise of it. Wow. I'm not tapping the button anymore. You can just hold that button with the machine gun. You what? I just called the machine gun. It all fired for you. It's not the most powerful weapon. It does spread out like a spreader. It doesn't have the it doesn't have the it doesn't have the shrapnel effect like a fireball gun, like a fireball gun. With the shrapnel effect where it spreads out hits other targets around it. There you go. There you go. They're all dead. Well you have Eagle Man that's gonna run out and just jump down. Why is it? Why is it? Why is, why is A equal B? This game makes no sense. Well, it's an NES video game. It's made more for the lines of entertainment. This is a market where they're predicting that this game will probably be played by kids and their parents anyway. I most likely be right. Most of the people who have fond memories playing this are. Well, our kids who grew up in the 80s, like me, anyway. That's why this video probably wouldn't do that viral. If somebody would have made a video doing the exact same thing I'm doing anyway. Because Super C is not new, it's retro. No one really cares about it. No one really cares about it. You're wasting your time. Please stop wasting. Please stop wasting. Please stop wasting your time making videos about games that are old and relevant or dust. If so for the fall on top of you, they can kill you. I believe I already demonstrated that, but they won't kill them. This is one of those this is one of those eight bit style games where they touch your hitbox, you know, because it's NES because it's a Nintendo Entertainment System game. You instantly die, but but if anything touches your hitbox, it's one of the shots touch your hitbox, you die. Wee rapid fire. I grab the machine gun, I grab the machine gun, and the floating predator. So it's designed to be hard. It's just come from that logic where it's just one hit death anyway. That was their way of serving up a harder game by this. But it's making it where something touches you, you die. Can you imagine if a triple A game did something like that where something touch your touch your character sprite, your your character your your character's area on screen, your, your character 3D model in a triple A game, you die instantly. Like you were talking to like a non-playable NPC. Not NPC stand for non-playable character, and you touch them, you die instantaneously. Like, would you just have like a what the f moment? This happen? Yeah. Well, you kind of want to shoot the turns anyway. Or you can just be like me and just avoid one of them. I believe power ups are all the timer anyway. It's time there. It's time there. It's time to play a game called. It's time to play a game called. Repent it. Where everybody loses. Dang, I'm gonna get him shot to pieces. No, and the power with this fluid by. No, every time you see those little things hover back and forth, they're this power up. Dang, the eyeball thing for this tearing me apart anyway. They hum it on the player, they hum it on the player's precision anyway, and just kill you one hit. They're deadly. They are deadly. Oh well. But they're not fun to get hit by. I gain an extra life, now I die from it. I can I get it, now I die from it. Mm. Well that fight doesn't matter I suck here. Yeah. Well sometimes I see like uh, this. I see how much like this. Go out the scream in this. And Sprite, it's my favorite two faults. It's the toothpaste bust of balls. Yay, it's a death trap. If you get caught in the corner, that happened. So my favorite thing is to do is to tap the button really, really fast and just... 
Is it tap that by the Oh, you might hear my neighbor's dog in the background. I mean, I did turn on Chris to, to help draw him out. I like having Chris because every recording has to stay connected to the internet, or else it would just stop working because the internet randomly dies. Let's see here. Now you look like Snaggletooth. Do I not see sure those laser beams of death that like to fire from the sky? Very fancy dripping. Very fancy dripping. A lot of these balls are very fancy dripping. How's everything work? It's a video game. It's alien. Well, it's alien technology mixing with human technology in their world tundra. Can you imagine a soldier like, how am I supposed to defeat this? It's going back and forth, attached to a silly and firing giant beams of death. You expect me to defeat this? I'm gonna pay enough for this. Yeah, it does become easier when there's just two of them. Why I keep jumping? Why I keep jumping? Anyway? Well, I knew I better, right now. I better not sit directly by any time. He's gone. Okay, we move on to the next stage. You want to the next stage of righteousness? You might hear my neighbor stop barking, y'all. I mean, she's really yappy. I'll turn on Chris and drown him out. If he says hollow, he says hollow. I don't have a dog. My neighbor has a dog outside the window. It's a hilltop stage. Where normally your shots will arc like this, but when you get on top of these hills, it's a gimmick. I like how you just start jumping. I, I, I just cringles up like, ah, hey, what were you doing? Uh, well, I'm not going to get that power up like that anyway. I shouldn't have shot that. Yep, I shouldn't have shot that. I did not mean to. I did not mean to expose that power up. Your sins, Roger, your sins. Roger, your sins have no opposition. What, my sins are shooting these aliens? What? My sins are shooting these purple guys in these... In these jumpsuits, in these... Workout suits, like they're from the... I mean, workout suits, like they're from the 80s. You know, so fashion is key. Ah, crap. I wish I didn't lose those fireballs. I had them, I, uh... Well, mm. every time I jump or move forward, the screen will go up. See, and not this game looking cares. You know? uh, the screen clear power up. I think I just got the R. I think I just got the R power to make my shots. The R power makes your shots go faster and have more power behind your punch. Anyway, it is not like the spreader. It just does one thing. Crap. I didn't realize, I didn't realize those guys fly towards me anyway. I didn't shoot them down from the sky. Well, you gotta go. We all thought I was gonna get hit in the corner anyway. You see, you get the gimmick of the stage, you go up anyway. Dodge the boulder. If you're like me, yeah. If you're like me, you wanna dodge the boulders. The game actually did me a, dying actually did me a favor. It respawned me across the cliff. Then I got hit by another boulder. And for some odd reason, those guys can't make the jump across the cliff. Now it looks like I'm talking about Crate Factory. Oh boy, this was so imagination. It was so much fun to use your imagination when I was playing this game at 17 years old. I didn't know all this stuff was. Crate Factory, inventory, shipping. You know, it's this background says boy, like you're in a black bum. Like you're in some type of VR universe. Sprite 3D model, but I didn't know anything about game development. Yeah, I see the die at the most frustrating time. Shoot, 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 shoot. Pop up cannon. You know, you're just safe. You just duck and you shoot the pop up cannon like that anyway. Only a fool tries to shoot them the other way. Wow, my favorite boss of Skull Doom. It looks like something. It's like something out of a, out of an alien movie. It is literally gold all over the place. Hmm. Gold all over a fortress. Gold. Gold all over a fortress. Gold. 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 Gold all. Gold all over a giant fortress. A mobile fortress. A fortress built into a built into a mountain. Gee, can you say why they did it? A fortress built into a hillside. It has a Doctor Wiley logo all over it. 
Ah, uh, Mega Man games. Mega Man really wants to. Mega Man really knows wants the authorities to know that he's right here. The big Doctor Wily icon cannot be missed. Goodbye, Skull Ship of Doom. Oh well. well goodbye, Skull Ship of Doom. Anyway. Now you go into the Purple Brain Cave. Ooh, what's in the Purple Brain Cave? Well, it's obviously something to do with purple and brains. Oh no! Shoot! 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 Shoot, 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 shoot. It's cool. Whee! Spires, spires, spires. Yay! Fire, fire, fire. It's cool. Dog, dog, dog. So many dogs. I think. Oh, I think you got the spurs. I think you got the. I was gonna just say how that. I was gonna show you how the how, how the how the shrapnel pattern works, but I got hit anyway. I got hit anyway. Don't you just like how the giant mouse would try to swallow you up whole anyway? What is this? what is this insane universe? A giant mouse that just spawned out of the floor or nowhere? It's a, it's a universe of Chondra. No, not super, not super C, not super. It's a universe of Chondra. It's everything. It's everything you have to go to. That's a what, save the Earth? Well, it's an NES game. It's an 8-bit Nintendo Entertainment System game. Or NES game. The story's in the manual. Which I almost never read, so... It's just a game. It's just one of those games that's just very archaic, anyway. The player just thinks you can't respond to that happens. There could really be a lot of these spider things on the screen, though. It would really make the player panic. I hate spiders. I why they all got stopped and fire at me? Why they have to be censured? Why can't you do all this pharmacy that pass by? I don't think so. Well, the sprayer does help anyway. Screen killer. I know, I grabbed the spreader. I grabbed the spreader. I got the spreader. I'll probably get killed anyway. Well, the spreader is just a tool in your arsenal. It does not make you not make the player nor invincible. Here, let's just blow through this gate because you gotta blow it down. Here, here, here. Gate blow, gate destroyed. Okay, it's a wall. It's a wall, but a living faces. What am I? What am I seeing? The most cyber or realistically mutated thing in the world? It's an NES game. It's an NES game like Mega Man, Metroid. You, I don't know. Just shoot it. Mega Man. I used to think Mega Man, Metroid, Section C were all this, because they were all games. You had guns. You shot. When your player had some type of gun, you all shot across the screen. I used to think they all had the same type of gameplay, but no. The gameplay is different anyway. That because your character fires some type of projector across the screen doesn't mean they're all the same. Well, that is in, so you think. I so you think. It is done, but be on your foolishness. And a floor that looks like brains, anyway. Uh, oh, let's see here. Yes, you have to fight a giant alien. You have to fight a giant alien head. That's exactly what it is. Or my one friend called it an Ebo. An alien clean. You destroy. It has no body, but its head sticks out. But its head sticks out and fires these projectiles. Why? This other thing harmlessly go around you block your shots anyway. Snakes around you block your shots anyway. Look at those red eyes. And those gooey alien teeth. And if you walk into it and touch it, you will die. But I don't think any players are stupid to touch it at that point. Touch and get killed off. I think most players realize that it's death. Don't touch. Area 7. Area 7. Going down. After he goes back to the side. Scrolling prospect up. No more for onward hand angle. And go back. Go back into the valley of the beast. You know who that other power up was. It flooded off the screen too fast. I think it probably was just a machine. I think it was probably just a machine gun anyway. Arch or the laser, because everybody loves that, the laser, anyway. Or your favorite, or you need a spreader, your, your favorite weapon, anyway. Well, he just fell to the platform. 
It's a video game. It's a video game. Video games have glitches, bugs, or exploits. Or glitch, or just... Well, some people might call them bugs. But it just teaches you that video games are a lot different. Yeah. Well, I never got pissed when I found video games. And no, Super Contra was not the first video game I found a glitch in. The first video game I ever noticed a glitch in was playing Super Mario Brothers. It was not... It was not, it was not, it was not, it was just a glitch. So I called it a trick. I used to call it a trick. I used to even call it the word glitch. I used to say trick. Whoop, there's my one-up. No only issue to feed enough aliens. You know you can get a one-up. I used to just call it a little trick you can do. Not a glitch. But other people would say, it's a glitch. No. It's just something that happens in game anyway. Hooray. There. I shoot, I shoot, I shoot, I shoot, I shoot, I fire, fire, fire. Why do I always duck anyway? Because if you, you, you just fire like that, you just shoot downhill. See, your shots always go to the angle of the hill anyway. You should learn that by the fourth level. Uh, by the fifth level after a dungeon. I don't mind if we got the spreader. I might be got... There's nothing else that's half the butt anyway. No, give me something besides the spreader. Hey, I always wind up missing all my power up. What would the invincibility power up if you get in the earthquake zone help you here? Yeah, it, it, it probably wouldn't. Let's see. Shoot, drill. Shoot, he's right behind me. Gee, I've been saved by. Gee, I've been saved by the, the, the laser gun. You know, I'm a one bad player. I'm a bad player. I just have really good RNG. Random video game left. I don't know, I can take time clearing out all this, you know, I have no real, you know, there's no real reward for doing it. The spreader! Well, you could just fight them that way, or you could just jump down there and shoot them. Keep in mind, one hit from anything will take away your, your spreader weapon and spread down, fight it, it spread down multiple directions anyway. Whee! Whoop! Get rid of my spreader! It was too fast. You know, you might say these levels are unfair. This is BS. How can you want to beat this? Well, some might agree with you. Some might agree, but this game was test play. This game was test play. Play for bugs anyway. Make sure it actually worked before. Shipped out. Shipped out. Test play. Coded. Coded. Make sure it actually worked before. It shipped out. Released on the Nintendo Entertainment System and the Famicom and the Famicom, which is a Japanese Nintendo Entertainment System. Japanese NES. Find a blow over these plants. Cool. It's cool. Oh, it's cool. Let's see. Ouch. We. We. Boom. Kaboom. Boom. 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 But there you go, there you go, there you go, there's skulls, there you go by the skulls. It wants to fire and shoot the skulls in the, the rings and the rings of life. I believe me, just shooting in the background, shooting the center, it's just doing nothing else. Well, you can tell when, when the ding 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 sound that you're doing some type of damage anyway. You're hurting something. I know all fire wouldn't make this much easier anyway, instead of me just tapping the button like this repeatedly. What? No more, no more rings of death. I think I took it out. I think I shot it too much. I did way too many, way too much damage to his hip pockets. So I seem to find a pattern where I can't get hit anyway, where I can just stay right in the middle in case you jump anyway. And just a boy losing, a boy losing a life, and yeah, until my RNG runs out, my luck runs out. I'm pretty sure I'm doing damage in the middle anyway. There, I believe it's taken out, Mr. Skull. Mr. Skull and your egg, your egg of doom. Why well, I want those boiled eggs? They're about as big as your, about big as your hand. Okay. Conjure stage of life. What? Okay. What's with your strange music? Well, spoiler alert. This is the final level of the game, anyway. Well, yeah, it's like. Okay. They can't just make the game endless. Who wants an endless video game? Who wants to be mowed down by every... Who, 
I believe that was my only chance to get like a spread. I didn't have a tiny fire that gun off. I mean, you see what that gun was. Hey, the sun, the game's got in. You gotta go to school tomorrow. Hey, it's a 90s. It's a 90s. Your mom asked you, did you do your homework? Your mom asked you, did you do your homework? Well, what's homework? Homework you actually used to take physically home before, like, online schools, like, for online schools, the place, everything. Now, if you live in a world where schools are online, anyway. It's homework with a series of, it's, it's homework. You do it at home, Mr. Homie. Yeah, it's okay. Enough about homework. More about these aliens. Why did they make that noise? When I first played this, the original version of Condra, the, the English, the US version of Condra I played, those aliens did not make that noise. That noise. That noise. That noise that represents, that noise that almost makes me represent make you're killing it into aliens. I tried to guilt trip me and say you're killing this. But well, I'll just take you out. I'll just take you out. I'm not trying to die. There's so many projectiles on the screen anyway. See? And it's homing on you every five seconds. It really is bad for me not to be it's not bad for me not for me to be dodging, but what you want? Shoot 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 shoot. Dug him dug him behind the alien that wants to greet you that wants to greet you with face. Anyway, no 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 no, I need to power up. I missed it, RNG. Hey, it's not like I was trying to die a lot. I said things swarm right? Everything that could hit me. Let's see here. The final power up. The laser. Hey, it's better than nothing. Wee. Wee. Blah, 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 blah. You little, you little, you little. Yeah, I know I'm not swearing. It's not because I don't want to keep the video. I have any privilege. I just don't feel like swearing. I'll never get that into a video game where I start casually swearing. No, it's not because I don't want to get the video demonetized. I just don't feel like cussing. But sometimes this game can be, this game can be flub jello. This game can be, yep, everything about this game can be flub jello. You yeah, see here. I'm um, just like the alien, it just pops up, fires two shots at once. I mean, you can dodge it, you know, the shot power anyway, but I wouldn't recommend showing off. I'll just kill it and let's be done with it. Roger, why do you not use all the fire? Because I don't care. I just really just tap the button anyway. I have no intention of this. The auto fire my way through life anyway. Yay! No, 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 no. You come back here. Green color. I guess the final power up is the fireballs. Either you keep or you hit. Oh, would you stop trying to think behind me? Seriously. Every five seconds, I, I, the game the game wants to spawn more. That was to the end? Nope. That was to the end? Nope. Behold the true power. Behold my true power up here. Oh, yeah, I forgot. That's how brokenly easy they can make this stuff here. Yeah, all you gotta do is just catch it anyway before this cool. Well, it's by harmlessly. Uh, see, so you kill them off, you kill them off, you get more. Why do those aliens make that noise? Why are they so persistent? Why can't they make that jump? Booby trapped. You thought you could just jump harmlessly and the silicon come down, player? No. No, you realize you realize that there are death traps all over the place. You almost took one of my fireballs. I know a lot better than the spreader anyway, a lot better than the spreader on this part. I say that, I say that. Is the game ever going to spawn me back in? Is the game ever going to spawn me back in? Yeah, you can kind of jump like that anyway, but... Oh, no, I'm being chased. Sprite overload. You would think they gave me to spawn me across the cliff anyway, but no. It just has to respawn to me anyway. Well, that's like giving this game to somebody who's never played a video game and expecting how you click Contra. They wouldn't know what to do. He was like, even if I did give him, like, he was like, gave him, like, a billion life. It said 99, 99 rest. Anyway, they didn't know how to clear this. They probably figured it out. They probably figured it out anyway. I'm pretty sure the average person would have figured it out anyway by dying a lot. Yeah, and the fireball was the last power up. I don't see another floating power up. 
Look at that green background, all those things. You thought you cleared the game, but oh. Why is the background crumbling? Why is the background crumbling? Nah, I'm pretty sure I died because the purple rocks just touched my hitbox. Everything is deadly. Everything is deadly. There. It's the real final balls. Real final balls. The alien clean, which is get away from me. It's like there's just panic attacks. Centipede from the eye. Don't you want it? Don't you want to just eat the eat the burger alive? Hey. Hey, you, are, you don't want me to shoot you. Really, I can't imagine I want somebody with a gun to shoot me anyway. You really don't want me to kill you. You're supposed to just go harmlessly over my head anyway. Whee! I can kind of get on top of this hitbox, but nope. It's destroyed. It's over. It. It's finished. And Condra is cleared again. Hooray! Oh, I'll staff and program and go to the NES players who program this game because, you know, due to limitations on the game anyway, they can't put in their full name anyway, so. So, yeah, they had to go by short names, Sal Designer. They had to go by short art breed red names, are the infamous, famous Mega Man 1 Fish Man name. They can't use our full names on the NES game? Are you crazy? The game is directed by Team Ubi Chan. Konami. Presented by Konami. Let me guess. We're stuck on the screen. We can't get off of it. You can. Why is it safe? Why is that player two have 99 rest? About that. Well, I guess I'm going to end the recording here and just stop the video here. Hope you had fun watching this because I'll see you next video. Until then, later. Bye for now. Stay fresh. Oh yeah, one last thing to show. I thought you might want to see. Hooray. Still sharp after one year.